Hello Yuki fans, Mother Rans here and welcome to another episode with Kaijus. This time I'm not using the ninja engine, I am now just using the pure hand engine. And this is not the way you want to open up with, but yeah, yeah, still got the planter engine in here. Um, using the new support from the Kaiju deck, which is Kaiju cards from the next set, which is Docs, which will be... The multi-dimensional kaiju, which I have here, Gam CL, which is the C kaiju, and the kaiju count capture trip mission, which is an alright card too. Um, so yeah, I've still got my magic planter thing in there, because kaiju capture mission is a continuous trap, so I can get some plus off that. And essentially, yeah, this is this is kaijus. All the and yeah, this is Halloween week, and we've already had a load of probably we have probably had a load of ghost tricks at the time of this recording, uh, when it's published. So hopefully we want to have a little break from that. So we get some monsters on the board, and we start this off with kaiju's. We also I get some shimmering zombies and maybe even DDDs if I have time. <laughs> and we got a capture mission. That's nice. So we can set that monster and do stuff from that, but I don't need to do it anything further. I'm waiting to get my field spell. And when he knows someone's a normal monster, I'm gonna have a jam trio. And stop him from doing get too many plays. So hopefully, yeah. I'm using a jam trio because then it gives me things to tribute. So it's not a massive stall, wait, and then they can deck me out. You can no longer deck me out. So that's nice, and can't really use you because it's really likely he has maxi now. Um, so yeah, just passing turn, just waiting for him to um, let me have a monster I really want to tribute, or let me have the field spell, something that can kickstart my deck. Because the C is still a bit low in the deck, but Planter is t is the way of trying to remedy this. Gamciel. This is the most amazing kaiju, and it's not going to be summoned yet. Although I could summon out you, and do stuff through that. Or I could summon out you and beat you down, with my other my multi-dimensional kaiju. But I wouldn't be gaining anything much from that, and it may actually be the option to have Call Haunted. He's playing Raid Raptors, so he needs a lot of uh, areas to summon. He must have a raid raptor here now. Summon that he wants to do, because he wouldn't put that red nest out without having something he would want to get a plus off. Okay, one face down. Uh, Mind crush worries. Maybe I've seen a I've seen one Pearson use mind crush today. Um, no, you can keep those. And Vanishing Lanius, well, do you activate? Yes, you do activate, so I'll wait for you to activate your Vanishing Lanius. And then I can do stuffs. Stuffs are good. Just wait for him to play. It's a very reactive deck, this is. And good, that's fine, it's a nest. You can have that nest. You can have a, you can have a Red Raptor hat to your hand. I'm fine with this. Is this without the field spell? This means it's kind of a dead 2200 monster that could be beaten over by, by this evil monster. Which it will be. I don't know if Fuzzy Lanius' is, um, gen is um, inherent or not. It doesn't look like it. So, four Strix. That's fine. Detach your exceed material. Let me finish. And. Shut down your plate so you're not getting double searches. No way I'm letting you do that. Hopefully he doesn't have the Raptor's uh, Gust, which is the counter trap that they have. Because that will be very dangerous. He will get his plus. And I mean that a second boss trick could be on the cards. Because you probably search out Shining uh, Singing Lanius and switches on that, that Fuzzy Lanius and try and go for a second boss trick. Just because that is so powerful. Well, he's taken a, time, taken a while to actually let me respond with this, so that's nice. That'll be getting rid of anyway next turn, and I'll be able to magic planter away the finish. So everything is good there. Revolution Force. 
Oh no, that's ba that's dangerous. Whatever will I do? Although you could have changed it to that effect, I'm sure. Just depends on what you want to go for. Um, you're gonna beat me down with that 1,000 tap one monster. Okay, that's fine with me. Just waiting for you to destroy, try and destroy me because I've got a lot of kaiju things to do today. So I'm gonna get attacked by 1,000 life points. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm not gonna waste all fiend, another fiend's chain on it. It's just a thousand life points. That won't be too applicable in the store. To be honest, I've got Planter, which I can get rid of that uh, Phoenix chain next turn. Well, this turn actually. So let's see what we can draw into Planter. And we draw. If he's gonna Raptors Gust it, he might as well do it now. Okay, two more Kaiju Cats. Um, I could take control of his monster now. That is something I could have done. I could do. Um, yeah, do I want? But do I want, I want that? It would mean I wouldn't have to waste as much. So yeah, I'll go for that. So I got to tribute his monster, give it myself a Kaiju, and own a Seal. I'll take it back now. I'm running one of seal and triple remove brainwashing, just because remove brainwashing works better with planter, and only seal does. Is he gonna negate this? I he's a lot of options. Uh, all the hunting needs to be set down in the field. I've got that kaiju capture mission if I really need to, and if it's real, that's ca kaiju cards on on this card. You can tag one kaiju monster, set it, and then place a kaiju counter on this card. So that is good, it can stop mirror forces as well, so now I attack with the multi-dimensional. I'm only using two of this because I don't like it as much as I do Gamciel and the other multi only other kaijus that you can bring out. And I think that's all I'll be doing. I, I could set a monster, I'm gonna set a monster. He doesn't know what that is. Hopefully he'll blindly attack into it. I can clock up his board with a jam trio, which is a nice one of in the deck. And I think two might clog. I haven't tried it though. So depends if you want to try it or not. And that's Mimicry Lanius. That means you're gonna be sending out another monster, yeah, Fuzzy Lanius. The little fuzzy comes on the field. And you're probably gonna search out something else. Hmm, depends on what you want to go for. Nest, okay. Um, that's gonna search out. Um, uh, could be anything really. Tribute Lanius, maybe? Singing Lanius to go into further plays with Fuzzies. Uh, depends on what you want. Maybe Vanishing Lanius for next turn. Maybe thinking that far ahead. We don't know yet. We do not know yet. Hmm. The yeah, artwork for this is quite good as well, I should say. Uh, but Gam's the Owl, just look at that artwork. It looks like Godzilla. This is, this, I think this is the Godzilla card of the actual archetype. Whereas this is one of the um, monsters it faces. I can't remember which one. I've never seen. Actually, I've never seen the monsters. I haven't seen the old um, uh, Godzilla, series, Godzilla films. I saw the Godzilla cartoon series, if that helps. And I don't think I saw this. I saw, I think I saw one of the weird book things. Can't remember what it was though. So he's going for Fostrix most likely. Yeah, Fostrix, that's fine. Venus Chain will be on that monster too. It's like I have a hundred of them. It's Venus Chain for days. And letting that on. Is he got another revolution force? Fuzzy Lanius is going to be adding another fuzzy. It's absolutely beautiful artwork. And you can go for your single Lanius if you want. You can't summon anything else, to be honest. So you're just passing turn, that's fine with me. Fire hand once again. I can run over that monster if I really want to, and I probably will because there's no other things to do. I might as well just keep putting down his engine. And that will be my plays. Um, just waiting for other things to get rid of. 
at this point. This deck is kind of slow, it will be very react reactive, but it is a very fun deck. You won't really piss off your opponents, and you'll be able to do a lot of things with it. It kind of looks like a Steel Swarm. That looks like a Steel Swarm, but it's a, and it's a Fiend, so it kind of backs it up. A hypothesis. But, highly likely. It is based on, is based on one of those characters from the um, film. Don't know which one. But, hmm. Singing Lanius, okay. And now you got some of that fuzzy Lanius. Unfortunately, I do not have a third Phoenix Chain. That's not in the agenda, unfortunately, for me to be doing that. So Fuzzy gonna be dropping on the field. Don't really have a chance to do Ojama Trio right now. There's nothing to go for. Probably gonna add a Vanishing Lanius or a Tribute Lanius. Being the better options at this moment. Maybe Sharp Lanius if you think you can run this over. Um, I can't think of any others though, that you'd go for. Or Necro Vulture to add back Revolution Force. Depends on what you want. Ah, Vanishing Lanius. As I said, it's one, it was one of those. So we're waiting now for him to go for his Exceed, probably Full Strikes. Well, very likely it's Full Strikes. He hasn't been able to search anything. So yeah, we got that option to do to go for. Is something in attack mode? Why? Why? Why are you something in attack mode? Unless you misclicked. I feel like he's gonna he's gonna uh, rank this up. It makes sense that you so near time to rank it up because then just you know you don't you just regard the positions in anyway. And you added what did you add? Um, Shavlan is it's okay. Nothing too problematic at this point. Ojama Trio is still waiting to do its thing. Okay, you're attacking the defense. You're attacking my kaiju. Um, I don't know where you're going with this. Oh, you're going to do double death force. Shit, that's that's problematic. Okay, then I'm gonna have to um have to ojam a trio then. Might as well. Wow, I didn't realize that was gonna happen. <laughs> I would have I would have run it over anyway. So it would happen either way. So it depends on what he's going to go for. So I know he's going to blow my back row with, um... What the hell are you doing? Another one? With an... Uh, that makes no sense. Uh, maybe he thinks it's going to interfere with the plays. It doesn't, but... Uh, at this point, he's probably a little bit desperate because I've done two finish chains, stopped his engines, and... Stopped all his, um... Four strikes. That was destroyed by Battle to Grave this turn, so it couldn't be in the second one. But that means you're gonna miss timing. Um what the hell? Why did some why did two come from? Um That shouldn't happen, I'd know of. Um Yeah, I don't think that should happen. I didn't kill two this turn. So look, it's unless it's um, been reworded and, it's not, and this has not been updated. Um, it says that it's only during this turn, whereas that foster shouldn't be. Um, okay, you let me actually use something then. Not that there's anything. It's a glitch. Readiness, why? Oh yeah, you're gonna destroy your own, aren't you? Well, might as well flip this up then. Can you catch a mission? Since it is going to Problematic my monster. It's 
So now we just have to wait and set my kaiju back on the field. And that will look half his attack anyway. Catch a mission will activate by the looks of things. So his effects are response to this card's activation. Doesn't stop it afterwards. So that's fine. You gave me two cards. This is a, this is a draw card. But it's not exactly what you really want for the deck. It wasn't the be and end all for the deck. So I've looked down what he has as options. And my poor Kai and my poor Kaiju is getting run over by Satellite Falcon. And he's gonna destroy this monster most likely, so I'll be able to fire hand into a nice hand. And that will be doing nice things. Does he have an option that he could do right now? That looks like he does. So I kill this uh, because it has materials. Summon out a nice hand in its mood. This is why I recommend the fire and ice engine because it works with water front, but it also does. It also protects me when I have no way of kaijuing. So passing turn is by the looks of things what you're gonna do. Oh, ooh, one face down. That's fine. I can now get my field spell out. Exactly why I want at this point. The Kyoto Seafront or Waterfront. Same thing. Hmm. I can write Geki if I really wanted to, but I don't really want to. I can't really take control of these monsters, so maybe Regeki is the option I should go for. Yeah, I'll go for Regeki. Just so I can have some things gone from there, and then he'll force him out to play Castell. He's gone through a lot of his extra deck. Don't have to worry about um, double death force because that doesn't work against card effects. It takes a lot more damage thanks to those kaiju counters, and I get two more counters on this. So that's fun. Is he going to flip over something powerful now? Uh, depends where he wants to go for. Hmm. Okay, oh, I forgot about Raptor's Force. Then tag one exceeding your graveyard, such as someone in and such as someone more monster that's higher. So that is going to be. Oh my god. Two of these? I'm going to get every rank up that imaginable by the looks of things since he got Soul Shade Force too. This is a bit too many rank ups for this um, deck, to be honest. Hmm. So Rise Falcon in defense mode, Blaze Falcon in defense mode, and Revolution Falcon in defense mode as well. Or in attack mode, actually. It could work in attack mode. And I can technically, if I summon my Gamsia, I can use that. But then again, Gamsia would hinder this. Capture mission is a lot better at this point. And you're overleaning for Revolution Falcon in attack mode, giving me another counter. So both resolve that, and I'll be able to add Kai my um, Mad Flame Kaiju, which is exactly what I want at this moment. He isn't the be end all of the deck. So I could what does this have? Um it doesn't do anything to normal some of the ball monsters. So I should be able to run down that Revolution Falcon. The revolution is over. Shoot down and fire into that Revolution Falcon once more. To see hopefully some fireworks. And this I don't know oh, its effect. Um, doesn't look like there's anything that stops non summonable monsters. And this gives me a little bit more counters on this. And sometimes has an ice hand that I can go into defense mode with. And that's good for me at that point. So this could go for an XC if I really wanted to, but I don't really want to at this moment. Go for capture mission, set that down. And next turn, I should search out a kaiju counter, a kaiju monster and be able to blow everything up with dog around because I'll be summoning out most likely the multi-dimensional kaiju which is more or less just the fodder for this uh, turn or dog around probably gonna go for multi-dimensional which is um I can't remember what its name is um it's not actually it's showing me uh Raiden Radiant Radiant is what I'll probably go for now he has hardly any extra deck left six cards 
Does he have enough um, utility to go into Solche Force now? He has no Force Strikes, I think. Uh, one, two. Where did the third go? Oh, it's underneath um, Rice Falcon. Blades Falcon. He's gone into two Blades Falcons. It looks like it's more Raider Raptor centric deck. He's gone into both Satellite Falcons, which really wasn't needed. Sharp Lanius. Ah. Problems starting to occur. It's because he can now uh, reborn his monsters through Sharp Lanius. Dangerous things that will be. So let's see where you're gonna go with this. Um, you're adding Raid Raptor's Nest. I'm gonna be fine with this. Hmm. It'd be awesome if this could descend when it's sent to the graveyard through a card effect. It would be that would just be great planter. <laughs> nah, they never do that. Konami isn't that good. Never let us have that advantage. Singing Lanius, I think you play two of these now. Singing Lanius is more of a one of really in the deck. Well, two of if sometimes you want to go for that. Don't even think you have an XC to go into. So you're gonna attack. You, I think you have Rice Falcon actually. You may have Rice Falcon if you are playing it like this. So I'm gonna destroy the nest and summon out a Fire Hand in defense mode, which is fine. And main phase two, you can resurrect whatever you really want. I think you missed a lot of opportunities with his uh, Mimicry Lanitas when he sent them. So that's not the best way to play the deck, but. Then again, in the heat of the moment, you can very much forget a lot of this stuff. So hopefully this will be all fine. I've got my hands all set up on the field. And my Kaijus are going to be rampant next turn because he hasn't got rid of the Kaido Waterfront. He probably will go Ka Castell though. If, he go if he's smart, he will go Castell. Bounce back to Waterfront so I don't have five counters on this. I'm currently running, um, I believe, 11 Kaijus right now, since there is uh, three of this, three Kamungus, three Gamsia, and two of the multi-dimensional Kaiju, and triple this, triple this, just because they're very powerful. Okay, you're reborning the Satellite Cannon Falcon. Well, we all know what is going to be tributed. Obviously, the Satellite Cannon Falcon, because that's really not what I want to keep on field. So, yeah, I feel like I'm in a good position at this point. So, let's see where you're going to go with this. Mm. Sorry about that. Okay, you just got a pass done. His resources are being very much depleted. I think he had a Maxine in hand. Oh, he's going to be always oh, waiting for his readiness play. So, the Chaotic Water Run is going to get me right in. Then we have all four kaiju monsters out in our hand. So that's fun. So shocking out true to your satellite falcon. And here's the multi-dimensional kaiju. I think it's only once per turn during your turn. Yes, yeah, during your turn, so now I can do my powerful Dogaran. Dogaran can use its effects, removing three counters from the waterfront to blow up my opponent's field. Which will be very fun to do. And very deserved at this point. I will be able to run it, run, out, run him over with Doggeran, but I will be able to do that. Oh no, he's he's smart enough to use that. <sighs> and regained up to three counters on my monster, my Kyoto Waterfront. And I could switch my monster to defense. Oh, he has uh, Raider Raptor's Force. Interesting. So he has another Revolution Falcon by the looks of things. This looks like a completely centric Raid Raptor deck. Um, yeah, you're going to be a Raid Raptor monster that's going to be overlaid on top of it. So Revolution Falcon will come out in defensive mode? Most likely. Oh, it's something to attack with, so since he knows I can't run that over. And I can't do any damage this turn. Could Castell at this point. Um, it's not 100% what we need. Uh, Kaiju Catcher, Capture Mission. I'm going to use Planter on it. See what we can get in the further place. Okay, we've got a High Sand in that hand. That's alright. Um, hmm. 
don't really want to do anything further at that point. My Ice Hand will be killed if I don't, so now so I'm going to summon Ice Hands, because Ice Hands don't have any more utility in this deck. Uh, go for the Castell. And I could go for 1 on 1 at this point, but I doubt he's going to have another level 3. So let's attach 2 and shuffle that back into the deck. No more problems with that. And pass down. Since I cannot attack with that, I don't do any damage thanks to readiness. So now he is in a tough situation still. He's still got the Kyoto Waterfront in line. I have three Kaijus in hand. And a Fire Hand is a present threat. So you'd have to get rid of that too, or risk being blown up. No more ice hands, though. No more ice hands. So it's just one time money above at, at this rate. We do have Dogra as a three thousand beat stick. Now my pun probably won't be able to get over as effectively as it has done the other, other cards I've had. So yeah, it's not. So that's my hypothesis on this theory. Um, just waiting for him to do anything now. He has a lot of resources dead and buried. Does he have a Soul Shave Force? I don't know if he runs it. May not. He may do. We do not know. Okay, he's got a um, Vanishing Lies. I want to tribute some of this out. Then I'd have to set my monster, and then my casual cat is gone. Okay, he's going for the Raid Raptor's Call. This is the other support that the Raid Raptor's got. They can switch to another copy of themselves. In fact, Fuzzy Lion is going to come out. I think he's going for Rise Falcon. Oh my god, is he going for the Rise Falcon? He's gone for Rise Falcon. And he's going to be able to run over my kaiju. 100 damage, but nothing I can really hate upon. There. Ow, what the hell? It's a thousand attack. When you equip monster is targeted for an attack, when it's monster is higher attack, add one rank up spell from your text to your hand. <sighs> He's doing a lot of damage here. He's even using the, this card, which is kind of crap for the deck. Uh, sorry about swearing. <laughs> um, but essentially, yeah, it's just wow, he, can get, he gets another one, so it's, it is a very powerful mace. Didn't actually, I forgot about it, he could attack all specials on the monster, so he did have a real massive run there. But I can now just do what I need. I can search out Doggeran. Run over Doggeran. And Tribute Monster. He's got nothing left now. Special Shulkin out my Doggeran. Doggeran, remove three counters from the field to nuke Doggeran. Flip, switch the fire hand to attack and exact game. So yes, that is Kaiju's taking on a Raider Raptor deck. Mass amount of exceed summoning. He has five cards left in his extra deck. And all those powerful Raider Raptor cards that you see in the anime came out and showed what they could do. But my Kaiju's also show what they can do. In Valor Ninjas, it is technically a little bit slower, but it has a little bit more volatility. You have a lot more options. And if you do get Gamsheel out, you can have a amazing monster it's just it's brilliant it like, can negate any kind of effect i just haven't brought it out yet so there'll probably be another episode of kaiju for this week for halloween week so hope you look forward to that and please leave your comments below if you want any suggestions for the deck or suggestions for the channel in general and please like subscribe if you enjoy this and want to see further content Matt Durant signing out